Music is a vocal or an instrumental sound combined in such a way to produce beauty of form, harmony and expression of emotion. It expresses ideas and emotions through its significant forms through the elements of rhythm, melody and colour. Music can be classified into genres that suits to your personal preference. DJ mix and scratch music to create a brand new track. Welcome to the world of DJ. I guess the most entrancing to most DJs is that you get to engage the crowd, you get to see what they like and you keep them dancing the whole night. It was like a dream come true to me. I want to use the music okay, to inspire and motivate people and also help them to change from negative to positive. Chinese has a saying, you know, Thai, Thai sang si, si fen zhong, Thai xia si nian gong. What that means is that on the stage is 10 minutes but before the stage is 10 years of hard work. DJing to me is to connect people and music together to make one hell of a night. DJing is a form of expression through music with the use of technology. DJing is all about the love for dance music and club culture. DJing is a form of art and uh, it brings people from all walks of life together and that's what music does. DJing is about passing on the good vibes to the crowd and ensuring that they have a good time. When the sun sets, that is when the nightlife comes alive. DJ is a short term for disc jockey or DJ. A DJ is a person who plays recorded music for an audience, either a radio audience if the mix is broadcast or the audience in a venue such as a bar or nightclub. In venues such as a club event or rave, this is an audience of dancers. It was actually started by accident by the first ever DJ, Jimmy Savior, who thrown a dance party in 1943 and the crowds loved the idea of mixing two songs into one. But how much do we know about DJ and what do they really do? Every DJ learns DJing in their own ways. Some DJ go to courses at school. Some actually go through the like learn through the internet just to save money. And going to DJ school is actually the best way to learn because they teach you everything. And the equipment they use, right, are actually quite professional, in which the student who go to DJ school to learn actually can get a feel of how professional DJ are like and they can actually learn effectively while using the professional DJ equipment. In DJ schools, you will get to learn everything from the beginning. Your instructors is there to guide you along and can spot your mistakes. However, for some, they think they can't be creative and free when their instructors are just right by their side. Um, I'm currently the uh, owner of Ministry of DJs, uh, one of the DJ schools in Singapore. I started off as a club patron, so I was wondering how the DJ put two songs together. So that uh, triggered me off, you know, to do a little bit more research of uh, how to how to DJ or rather put two songs together. Um, that got me really uh, inspired, and soon enough bought my own equipment and start to self-teach myself. It is stereotypically to have a thought that men are only capable of doing great things while women are only capable to do such small things. However, in the 21st century, we are being thought in a way that women are able to take up the challenge to be extraordinary. In our generation, you will realise that our gender don't matter at all when it comes to making good music. Is it good enough for the crowd to dance to or is it good enough to keep the crowds on the dance floor? I started like, actually my first experience with uh, DJing was when I was about 16 or 17 where I took like a really short course uh, but that didn't, that, nothing really much came out of it uh, but I kind of, um, yeah, always had electronic music at the back of my head, you know and it was something that I was really interested in uh, all the way till like a couple years ago um, I actually joined a DJ bootcamp called the FFF Girl DJ Bootcamp and that's when I met a lot of other girl DJs as well um, Actually, I did it sort of just to get my mind off things at a point of time um, and it was something that I was interested in but yeah, everything kind of just snowballed into what it is right now. 
equipment meant a lot to the DJs. Without it, DJs would not be able to perform in front of the crowd. Different DJs have their own kind of brands that they prefer to use. Even though all the equipments are being served to similar purposes, DJs rather get a brand that suits their own comfort. Um, a lot of a lot of hard work and uh, practice and not going out for like when I started DJing I didn't go out for like straight up eight months just practicing in my bedroom and practicing my craft. We just want everyone to be happy. And I mean when they come and party, they don't, like like the ultimate goal is just to make people smile. Personally, the difficulties would be getting your name around in Singapore because there are a dime a dozen DJs who play what I play, which is uh, electro, EDM, mainstream music. And there's a lot of people who can market themselves as like, you know, girls who market themselves very well and other DJs who have a lot more experience. So my difficulty would be to go out there, meeting people and learning the traits around to contact them and get gigs through them. Every year, there will always be that one particular event that everyone would love to go. Having to prepare new songs in such a short period of time was never easy. DJs will try to modify their songs still satisfaction. The song that is being performed live should not have a single mistake. DJs that has been internationally well known are from the EDM genre. Majority that listens to EDM are teenagers. The music influence is so huge that it encourages teenagers to make music as a hobby or as a CCA. There are many schools in Singapore that provide DJ as a CCA, like NUS, Republic Polytechnic and ITE College Central, where they can meet other people with the same interest. KK has made me um, change a lot give me self-confidence, we build up together because everything here is based on our own character, how we do certain things. EMP impacts my life really greatly. Ever since when I first started here, uh, back then in year one and uh, two until today, I have learned tremendously a lot. Uh, a reason because uh, it's, not all, it's not about learning how to DJ and everything. Okay, I do not find joy in DJing, but I do find joy in seeing my peers and my juniors coming up together as one, helping together, uh, in their DJing life. So that is what I, 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 feel, uh, I feel good seeing that happen. Uh, I've been DJing for like about 15 years plus. I just collected records, vinyls. Started out collecting vinyls at the age of 12, 13. I just, just, just for the love of music, that's all. Uh, spreading the vibes of music and sharing your music. I'm basically sharing my experience, my music collection my music discoveries, so yeah, that's what motivates me. Good music, sharing good music. Being a DJ was never an easy job line. Having the passion for it is one, but having the creativity is another thing. It's about having the driven passion and the charisma to make the music. You need to feel the vibe or have the idea about what you want people to understand or to feel about your music. You want people to not only dance to your music, but you would also want people to know your story behind the song. Most DJs get their ideas of the rhythm just by observing their surroundings, listening to the things or sounds around them. If you have a goal, go for it because you don't know what you're capable of until you try. If you love what you do, always feel that passion of more creative ideas. You work hard, um, stay passionate to your, your interests and just, just listen to yourself. I think if you really want to do something, you can do whatever you want if you put your heart to it. Go out there and meet people. Never give up. You must have the passion, the fire 
to achieve your goals and dreams. I fulfill my dream and I make money and I survive, right? I fulfill my dream as a kid. I have never thought that I would be opening shows for Mariah Carey. I've never thought I would open shows for Kanye or, you know, Black Eyed Peas. But here I am doing all this big stuff. And my point to you guys is that if you want to pursue a dream, try to convince your parents that, you know, you can do it. That's, that's all. If, if your parents are convinced, I'm sure they will let you do and they will be proud of you. Peace. The DJs yeah. was just too awesome. So I'm pretty stoked, I'm pretty happy. A rush of adrenaline going up to my body. And we just keep going. Yeah. More than what I expected me to be. Yeah. It's not easy doing what you love. But with passion and hard work, you will get there.